there's a lot of components that make up this chair, and some of them are more critical than others as far as getting the chair together and square, um, such as the front and the rear rail and the side rails. So let me show you the system that I use to keep all of those parts together and in line with one another. Here on this upper side rail, I can look at this and I know it's my left upper side rail. This single dot here is a reference mark for me. My dots are always up and towards the outside of the chair. So if this has to be on the outside of the chair, it's telling me that it would sit on this side, that makes it a left side rail. Here's another upper side rail. This one has two dots on it. Again, the dots are towards the top and the outside. If I look at the matching lower side rails, you can see this one has two dots. Again, towards the top and the outside. The reason that's critical is because I use the same reference surface when cutting the mortises for the side slats. So I want to keep those reference surfaces in line with one another. That way these mortises, even if they're offset a little bit, are guaranteed to be in line with one another so that my chair goes together square and tight and all my joints appear tight. Here are my front and rear rails. I know these are my front and rear because I've got a single dot up towards the outside. My single dot indicates this is the front rail. And this highly figured face is going to be the face of my front rail. The, another piece that looks identical is my rear rail. And I've identified that by having two dots towards the outside and the top. So this would be positioned in the chair so that this face is facing outwards.